सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम वाट इज सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम वाट इज द जेनेसिस ऑफ सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम हाउ डज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कम एंड एन एक्सल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सी एल टी दीज आर द फोर थिंग्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम स्टेट्स दैट इफ यू टेक सफिशेंटली लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड यू कैलकुलेट देयर मीन इट विल फॉलो नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इ रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वॉट एवर इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग पॉपुलेशन right now you don't need to memorize this point i'm going to explain you why it does what it does and i'm also going to show you a demo in excel so that you understand each and every bit of this and i'm going to revisit the central limit theorem once again also one more thing many times uh, when i ask students that what is normal distribution they draw a graph like this but the moment i ask what is this what does it indicate many people get confused so i am going to explain you this also let's first understand genesis of central limit theorem so essentially here i am going to explain you why it does what it does let's take a game of dice when you throw a dice you will get either one or two or three or four or five or six the probability of getting one or two or three or five or six is 1 by 6 so if you see the probability of getting either one or any value between 1 to 6 is same 1 to 6 but the moment you throw two dice together you can get minimum uh, and you take the sum you can get minimum 2 and you can get maximum 12 you will get minimum 2 when both are 1 and 1 and you will get maximum when both are 6 and 6 now there is an interesting phenomena if you see there are 36 possibilities first can get value 1 to 6 and second can get value 1 to 6 for each combination let's say first one is 1 and second one varying between 1 to 6 you can get anything between 2 to 7 suppose first one is 2 and first second one is varying between 1 to 6 you can get anything between 3 to 8 so these are the different possibilities that are stated here what is amazing that in these 36 possibilities the possibility of getting 2 and possibility is getting 12 is just 1 1 whereas the possibility of getting let's say 5 is you know when first one is 1 and second one is 4 you get 5 when second first one is 2 and second one is 3 you get 5 this one is 3 and this one is 2 you get 5 this one is 4 and this one is 1 you get 5 so there are four possibilities of getting 5 so if you see the possibility of getting 2 is just 1 the possibility of getting 12 is just 1 the possibility of getting 5 is 4 and if you think and if you see here clearly what you will realize that the possibility of getting centralized value is more and the possibility of getting extreme values are less as you are moving towards center the possibility of getting value is increasing you can see it in graph also that the possibility of getting centralized value is more the possibility of getting extreme values are less the reason is very simple the possibility is of getting both extreme like 1 1 or 12 6 6 are rare whereas the central value comes automatically because there are multiple possibilities that can lead to the central value this is the genesis of central limit theorem this is why you get more centralized values let's see an excel demo to see it let's say we generate random number in excel which is and we are generating random numbers say between 0 to 99 now if you start taking average of 30 or more random numbers the minimum possible value is 0 when each and every number is just 0 and the maximum possible value is 99 when each and every number is 30 and 99 but as i explained earlier the possibility of getting central values are more than the extreme values and we are going to see it in through excel 